He was a composer, a conductor, a producer, a violinist, a pianist. Mantovani was one of the most prolific and popular easy listen musicians of all time. His light orchestra sound catapulted him to be Britain's most successful album act prior to the Beatles. His music, for many years, was regularly used to demonstrate stereo equipment for sale in stores. He was the first musician to sell over one million albums and also have six albums in the U.S. Top 30 at the same time. Mantovani was born Annunzio Paolo Mantovan in Italy in 1905 to a musical family. His father was an accomplished violinist and was concert master in an opera house in Milan. As a child, Mantovani took piano and music theory lessons. The family moved to England and he studied at the Trinity College of Music in London. He switched to violin, which would become his primary instrument. Mantovani made his professional debut when he was only 16. He joined a touring orchestra where he was a featured soloist. At 20, he was leading the Hotel Metropole Orchestra. He also gave some high-profile recitals in the early 1930s, which helped him gain much more popularity. Mantovani then formed his own new group and began a radio broadcast series. His music career was well underway now. By the time World War II started, Mantovani was married with two kids, and his orchestra was one of the most popular British dance bands. With 28 strings as the centerpiece, Mantovani was in heaven. He could compose, transcribe, and conduct. He created what would become known as the Mantovani sound, the tumbling effect of a delayed chord resolution. When the war ended, he turned his focus to the recording studio. He partnered with Ronald Binge in the studio, and together, Mantovani's signature sound was recorded, the famous and easily identifiable cascading strings. The result of that recording effort was the release of Charmaine, it was a huge hit, selling an unbelievable one million records, which was virtually unheard of for that time. And perhaps, even more importantly, it introduced him to the American music market. Mantovani became an international superstar, in high demand for concerts and other appearances. A stream of singles followed in this wake, Wyoming, Green Sleeves, Song from Moulin Rouge, Swedish Rhapsody, The Lonely Ballerina, Toy Shop Ballet, and Around the World. The birth of rock and roll slowed down his single success, but his album sales took off. Between 1955 and 1972, over 40 Mantovani albums landed on the U.S. pop charts. 27 reached the top 40, and 11 reached the top 10. Some of his biggest selling albums include Christmas Carols, Strauss Waltzes, Song Hits from Theaterland, Film Encores, Gems Forever, and Stereo Showcase. His cascading string signature sounds 
were applied to many familiar melodies, show tunes, TV and movie themes, pop songs, and classical numbers. Montavani favored the recording studio more than live performances. In fact, he was one of the first musicians to use the LP for his releases versus just a single, but he still toured North America for 15 consecutive years, giving 35 to 40 concerts each tour. Montavani loved to tinker in the studio. The entire process fascinated him. He was one of the first artists to use stereo recording technology, and he is believed to be the first artist to sell over a million records in that format. He was the master of nuance, experimenting with techniques and miking methods. He produced an incredible 50 albums from the early 50s until his death in 1980. He sold 35 million recordings during his lifetime. A year after Montavani's death, his children made his tremendous catalog available to symphony orchestras. Montavani represents true musicianship. He had an ear for creating and producing masterpieces in the studio. His style survived the landscape of ever-changing music over the decades, prompting Variety to coin him as the biggest musical phenomenon of the 20th century. Music should touch your soul, and there's been no other artist that does that in such a way as Montavani. Listening to his songs conjures up memories of times long ago, of simpler times, of romance and young love. When Montavani died, Jim Jensen of CBS News said he will be missed he made millions of people happy. Montavani's career was not defined by monetary gain. Rather, it was defined by the imprint he left on the lives of the people his music touched. Thanks for watching Jukebox Jams. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about musical legends.